What's up guys? It's the first day of Boule and I am here in Orlando, Florida. Let's see if the lighting can get better. Okay. I'm here in Orlando, Florida and it's the first day of Boule. I just got here, just got checked in. It is, I don't know, maybe like 11 o'clock. I have my first general body, no. I have my first meeting at two o'clock and it's for general members because I'm a general member. I do not belong to a local chapter yet. Um, so I'll be going to that at two. And of course I'm hungry because I just got a flight. Um, so what I want to do is um, show you guys around the room real quick. And then we're going to go get food, go to the vendor, like register, go to the vendor and then um, go to our meeting. And then we're probably gonna come back and see like what's the move um, for this evening. A lot of the like social events are like sold out for like the stuff that's not like a part of Boule. Um, and Boule is like our international like conference for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, so I wanna show you guys around real quick. Okay, so this is how I packed. And before like, y'all say there's nothing over here, there's definitely stuff over here. But I also had this bag in here too because I know I want to go to the vendor fair. Um, so um, I brought like an empty bag so that I could use it as my carry-on on the way home. And then because I hate when I open my luggage, like when you go like this and you forget which side is the thing and I hate that. So instead I just zipped all my shoes in here so that when I open and close them, they don't fall out. I also brought my AKA documents. And then on this side, my clothes. So I think I'm actually gonna hang up some of my like business clothes so that, you know, they don't get wrinkled and stuff. But in a minute, I'll show y'all around the hotel. But let me first unpack. We're staying at the, the Rosen Shingle Creek Hotel. And that goes to someone else's room, so I have already locked the door. And then this is like the area. And I actually have unpacked, and this is my first time like actually unpacking my suitcase because, okay, so after you come in, um, this is the bathroom and I've already set out my makeup. And I know that this is old, but it still works. Um, I set out my makeup and my toothbrush and my bonnet, and there's me, hang on. Um, and then the shower area is really like nothing to sneeze at. I mean, this is what it is, you know? Let's see what I'm doing. No, can't smell? Okay. Um, and so over here is the closet area. So. This is what I mean by I did the most. I've already set out like my shoes for the week. And then my outfits. And this is for scarf day. So it's just like a pink jumpsuit with a green scarf. White. Um, just like, a, this is pink and green day, I think. And then this will be green day. And then I don't know what that is yet. I just brought it. And then I also have this from my, um, Lily Pulitzer, I don't know what that bag is called. But anyway, I brought like some feminine products just in case. Some pins, um, all my AKA jewelry is there. Let's see if I can get some more bags in here. Okay. And then my personal products and my perfume and stuff is up here. And so, then I just have this, this is my suitcase with the rest of like, like my workout clothes, like some dresses, uh, my swimsuits, like my 
night clothes, like stuff like that that I don't really care about hanging up. And then I have two beds because it's a long story. Anywho, so this is it. And then here is my lovely view that I get to wake up to every morning. Oh, if I would have a balcony, you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. Anywho, this is what we have here. This is the resort over there is like their golf course. There was a couple people over there and I'm like, I wanna go golf, but I don't know how to golf. I wonder if they have, oh, you can see them all the way over there, let's see. You see them, those little people? Yeah, they're playing golf, they're playing golf. Um, they have four jacuzzis. So my makeup is fake. <laughs> so, okay, so my makeup is finally done. Um, I am okay. I am wearing my AKA earrings, my AKA bracelet, and that's the only AKA things that I'm wearing. And then this is the rest of my outfit. And then just some shoes. Um, I decided to go with something like kind of more chill, and then I have a sweater. Cause, ooh, I don't think I don't think that these shoulders would make it through protocol. But, anywho, so we have a sweater that's in our purse, and then we have some flats in our purse as well. And yeah, so we're about to go downstairs. And we're gonna do two things before our two o'clock meeting. It is now, it is now 12 o'clock. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go register for the conference and then go find food, like in that order. Okay, see you downstairs. <laughs> This is how I'm literally ending my first night of boule. Um, this is literally what it is for me right now. I have work listing coming soon that I'm working on. So I have to get this done tonight. Two listings, so. See, look at that public remarks coming soon. That's not okay. Um, and then I have my pictures back, so I'm gonna import all these pictures right now from the listing. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. The listing will go live Thursday, coming soon Wednesday, and I'll be here in Florida. So it's gonna be interesting and I'll let you know. Good morning, beautiful people. It's day two and uh, a boule. And I just wanna do a quick outfit check before I head out the door. Um, I'm wearing my AKA cardigan. And then my, I don't know, these pants are from Shein. This top is from Zara. This is from AKA, obviously. And then I'm also wearing these shoes. Let's see if you can see them. These shoes. They have a little bow on them, and they're also from Zara. So, today is pink and green day, and I'm also carrying this huge duffel that they gave us with conference. This thing is like humongous, but I'm gonna wear this because it's a part of the pink and green theme. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a better idea of the outfit. Here it is. And these are heels, but they're definitely kitten heels. Hold on. Whoa. Look, these things are the most kitten heels that I've ever worn, but they finna be comfortable today. I know that for sure. So here's the outfit with my pearls and let's go downstairs and find my gym thing. Cause I lost my gym thing.
Hey guys, I know it's a little bit later in the day. Um, after we left, like to speak easy last night, <laughs> um, I came home or I came to the room and went to sleep and woke up and had a lot of work to do. I had to do a lot of stuff for this listing that's going to go live on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Um, and I had to get some marketing materials prepped and all that good stuff. And honestly, I wanted to sleep in. So I watched um, Boule virtually because they gave us the link. And so I did that. And now I'm getting ready for the regional dinner. But I really want to tell y'all about my night last night because it was freaking hilarious. And I cracked myself up, okay? So, long story short, and I really, I just messed up the beginning of my pro. Okay, so... Y'all know that I came to the way by myself. Um, so I didn't bring like any of my line sisters. None of my line sisters came. And I'm just gonna do my makeup and like get ready real quick. I'm gonna try. Let's see. Um so I came to Boulay by myself and it was like okay, I wanna go out, I still wanna have a good time. You know, I just can't always depend on, like, having someone to go with me and have that stop me from going places just because, like, I don't want to go alone, even though, like, who really wants to travel alone? Um, so, I came out here anyway, and I went to the Speak Easy by myself, <laughs> and... The first person that I ran into was this older gentleman, okay? <laughs> and if y'all know me, y'all know I'm gonna joke about finding a sugar daddy, so I was like, you know what? I don't know anybody here. So, why not? And yes, I actually just like wipe my face down like one time with cold water before I put makeup on. But, okay, so, um, this older guy was like, hey, like, do you want to sit down, like, you know, over here in our section, and I honestly, like, the when I first got here, it was so empty, so I didn't want to, like, stand by the bar by myself, like, because I'm super awkward, and I would have been in my phone, and so I really just did not want to do that, so I sat down at the table. And so when I did that, we were like talking, like I can talk to anybody, right? Like it really just doesn't matter for me. And we were talking and we were like laughing, joking, having a good time, like cutting up. And I think he was Caribbean or Jamaican, what, whatever, I don't know. So he was like talking to me about all these things and about how like he wanted a woman that he could like show off to his buddies and stuff like that. You're right, this is not polite, but it's what I do. But yeah, so he wanted somebody that he could show off. like um I think you're very attractive like you know I saw you walk in and I was like ooh who is she and I was like ha 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 you know and 
so he was like, you know, I would love to marry you. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. Um, because I was like, I've already ordered my hookah. And I'm going to sit here and smoke my hookah. And you know, I know how to get out of any situation. So, Katie, it's going to be okay. That's what I was thinking in my head, okay? I'll see you. So, <laughs> So we were like talking, we were vibing. He was there, like he was there with someone who actually was a Kappa, so yeah. He was, I don't think he was a Kappa, but he was there with someone. And so his friend was like super cool. But this guy was like doing the most, like. And I, I'm not like really like a huge, touchy, feely type of person, especially if I don't know you. If I don't know you, like. I'm really not gonna do what I take. And by touching, I really mean like every time he like said something, he would like put his hand on like my knee. And I'm like, what the, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? What are you, why are you touching? And then he would like try to like touch like my lower back area. And so then I'm like, oh, okay. Um. So then I would move over, okay? But we were still like laughing and joking and giving each other like a hard time. So it really wasn't like awkward. Uh, but he was like 60 something, 60 something. Um, and so he kept talking to me and kept like wanting to like, he was he, he kept saying like I want you to have a good time, I want you to have a good time, and I'm like, oh I'm gonna have a good time wherever I go. Like I am the party. You know? And so anywho. So I bought a hookah. No, he did not buy my hookah. Um, so that was red flag number one. Because your old self, if you're trying to date me, then the least thing you could do is if you see like the hookah wasn't even expensive. Like I feel like hookah in Nashville is way more expensive than hookah in Orlando. And I don't really know why, but like I went to this one lounge and like hookah was $25 and it was, it was straight. And so I don't know what Tennessee is doing with their hookah, like I have no idea, but I'm not digging it. And then the other place I went to and got hookah there, it was like $50 for the hookah. But like the hookah was like electric. It was like a really nice, nice, nice hookah. Um, and so I was like, okay, babe, hey kid, yeah, this is nothing. Like this is less than in Nashville, which is what I'm surprised about. Like I'm like left at this point. So he did not offer to pay for the hookah. And which was fine. I mean, I have my own money. I make my own money. It really doesn't matter. But if you would have paid for my hookah, it would have won you a little further. So, then I was like, hey, like I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I plan on like going to the bathroom and not coming back to the kitchen. Well, he was like, oh, I'll walk with you to the to the bathroom. And I was like, I really don't need help finding the bathroom. Like, I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm good. And he was like, no, 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 no. Like, I have to use it too. Like, it's getting third. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like beeline to the bathroom because, <laughs> because um, I really did not want people to see. I really didn't. Half of me didn't care if people saw me with this guy or not. And the other half was like, Casey, you want to talk to other people. So you are going to have to get away from this man. So I wanted to see what was in the room. <laughs> Long story short. And so then I'm talking to this store in the bathroom about her necklace. And I was like, oh, like I really like your necklace. And she's like, she sells the necklace. So I'm like talking to her. And he's like sitting there, like outside the bathroom, waiting on me to come back so we can walk together back to the section. And so I was like, oh, hell no. Now I gotta like, now I gotta go away because you finna get on my last night. 
So, um, so yeah, so then I was like, hey, like it, at the end of the night, it kind of felt like I was almost in a relationship with this man. Like how he was like trying to like act was like how I feel like my boyfriend would act if we were out somewhere together. And so it was kind of like weird. Nevertheless. So I was like, hey, like I'm just gonna get up and like go stroll. You know what I'm saying? I was not like, extra. It's just me. Okay. Usually, if I'm drunk enough, then I will struggle. But if I'm not drunk enough, I am not struggling by myself. So, and it, it, it has to be like the perfect timing for me to struggle. So, um, yeah, I knew I was going to struggle, but that's what I told him. And so I went away. to go like see what else was happening. Okay. So this man, to back back, like the reason why it started getting more uncomfortable because like this man was like, oh, like I'm gonna take you to the Bahamas, like I'm gonna do all this stuff and we're gonna have a good time. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he was like joking about like how he was, or I thought he, I thought he was joking about how he was drunk and how like I need to drive him home at the end of the night. And he was like, I drive a Kia and um, here are my car keys. And he hands me the keys to a Mercedes. So I'm like, okay, bit like I'm not taking the car key. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not gonna do that. Um, and so I started joking with him back and was like, I thought you said you had a kid. And he started laughing. So then him and his friend was talking about like this business they own and how like they make money and stuff like that. And I was like, okay. And then they was like joking on each other. And then they were like, yeah, we really like the way or, or the guy that I was with, sitting with was like, yeah, I really like it. Like your demeanor is like great. Like I really like that about you. Um, and I really just want to show you off. Now, first of all, I may be a trophy and I may be a prize, but I don't even know you like that, sir. Is what I'm thinking in my head. But I just laugh it off because I'm sitting in the section. And we are like by this point, we already know. First of all, before I sat down, I knew I was not gonna get like go home with him or nothing like this. But this is also what I don't understand about men nowadays. Like, so I gave him my number and I gave him the right number because I noticed that a lot more men are now starting to call you like right, like while you're right there to see if it's the real number. And they're gonna wait to make sure that you gave them the right number. And in my head, I'm thinking, I could give you the right number all day long, but you may still catch this block, okay? We have not cleared you yet. So, and that's, that's just what I, I'm thinking at this point. Like, yeah, I'll give you the right number. I don't really too much care, because if I don't want to talk to you, I'm just gonna block you. So, that's how that went. And so, finally, now jumping back, when I finally left him and went to go stand next like, to someone else, I went to the bar. And so, I walked all the way over to the second bar just so I wouldn't be next to the bar he was at. And so, I met this, actually, this cute guy. And so I was talking to this cute guy. But I couldn't like stay focused on the cute guy because I just thought that the old man was gonna like pop back up because he like would find me. And like after I would get done strolling, like doing the set it off stroll or whatever, like he would be right there looking at me. And I'm like, dang, child, like I don't even know what too much to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
So I thought that he was like gonna come around and be like, what, the, what are you doing? And I didn't want that to happen in front of the Kika. So I was like being super awkward in front of the Kika. But anyway, um, so I'm sure that he thinks I'm a psycho. Um, but at the end of the night, we was like chilling, smoking hookah, and we were on the way out the door. Uh, a lot of people started leaving like they had played, set it off one more time, like at the end of the night. And then a lot of people were leaving. And so he was like, hey, everyone's leaving. Are you ready to go? And so me, I said, no. The first time I said no. I said, I'm just going to stay in my Tonkuka. Like, you can leave. Like, if you want to leave me, like, don't stay on my account, basically. And so then he was like, no, 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 I'm stay. And then, like, a few minutes later, he was like, you know, starting to really thin out. Like, are you sure you're not ready to go? It was not really thinning out like that. But people were leaving, but it wasn't, like, empty. So, I was like, you know what? Okay, like, that's cool. I'm ready to go. Because I feel like you're not going to leave my presence unless, like, I leave, too. So... I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Like, I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave. And so he was like, okay, like, I'll walk you. Um, and he said, here are the keys to my car. And I was like, no, like, I'm calling an Uber. <laughs> when I tell you that that man's face, <laughs> jaw fell so hard. <laughs> that man looked at me like, what? What do you mean? And I was like, an Uber to my hotel. He was like, oh, I thought you were gonna take me home. It's that me third, like, cause I'm drunk. And I'm like, you're not drunk. And you came here with your friend. So if you are drunk, then your friend can take you home. And he was like, well, like, where's your Uber? Like this, that, and the third. And I said, and then literally, as soon as he asked that, my Uber was pulling up. And I was like, here's my Uber. Uh, you have a good night. Thank you. Because, like, you... I don't even know what you wanted from me. Honestly. So, basically, I got in the car and left him standing right there. I don't know where that man parked. I have no idea what that man was doing. I don't know. But, I was like, it'd be a little different if you were doing this. Because he was talking about flying me out and, like, doing this. I'm like, you not even pay my, my hookah right now. So how can I trust you to pay my plane ticket? And on top of that, I'm, I'm not inviting you back to my room. And then on top of that, I don't know what you thought this was. I don't know who your friend who is uh, a Kappa did not school you well on the AKAs because we got gay. Okay? And we are not going to do that. So, he should have told you to leave him because I was not giving, I was giving conversation for sure. Yep, I will leave anybody on for sure. Yes, ma'am. I can do that very well. But I was not giving, I'm going home with you. I know that for sure because I don't give that energy. Um, I never So... <laughs> But yeah, it was a it was a very interesting night. But I did get the cute guy's number. And I was like, I just don't know. Like, should I text him or not? Because, like I said, I was so awkward. Because I really thought that that guy was going to come <laughs> behind me. I really did. And so I was on left. And then, and then, as I was talking to this girl, I mean, as I was talking to that guy, this girl was standing on the other side of him. So it was like her, him, and then me. And when I tell you that, I, so I was sitting there talking to him. And then every time I looked down, she was looking at me. And I'm like, what the heck I'm looking at? So, and she like kept like looking at me. 
And then she would like look at him. And then she would look back at me. And I'm like, we're not together. So and then I said, we're not together. So if you want to like shoot your shot, like I can walk away. Because I don't know why you're looking at me like that. But I don't like it. I was like, child. You wanna, you wanna do it right now? Like right in front of me? I will not get So, needless to say, doing a big interesting. Sorry, but that old guy did not take me. And I know he knows that he has my right number. He never takes me. I guess he just thought that he was going to get some that night. I for sure was not there. Well, that was the end of the story time. And... I will, I know that like I'm horrible with telling stories if I'm just like, you know, cause part of it like I forget and then part of it like I just don't have it in order and it sounds so like random. But anyway, so that's the story about like how I thought I met a sugar daddy. Turns out he wasn't a sugar daddy. Then he was like creeping my style so I had to get away from him. But I still got a good number at the end of the night. So I think that it was like a success. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna catch y'all when I finish my makeup and get dressed to go to the regional dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm on the bus going back to like over by where it is. And then I'm gonna walk across the street. So the center hotel is across the street from the convention. So I did not want to Uber. So I got on the bus to go to the convention center and then I'm gonna just walk across the street. Um, this is what I'm wearing, just a little black dress, pink shoes. And then for my accessories, I have my bracelet, my earrings, and they're all silver. And then my clutch and if I get a little cold then I have my sweater so yeah hopefully I get there and everything is fine and I have wine <laughs> So on the last day, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris came to speak to us um, and then I hung out by the pool because I hadn't gone to the pool all day and we had a huge break before the reception. So that's exactly what I decided to do. And these are pictures from the closing gala and then it ended with, you know, just announcing all the programs that are about to be rolled out within Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.